going everybody yes welcome back I am always excited when we get out but I'm even more excited about today you know when you have the pinks running you can get very discouraged because you see fish jumping everywhere you see people catching fish and you're just not catching them and everything you know this being my first year back into it you know I was very optimistic I was thinking oh pinks they'll be easy to catch caught many of them on spin rod and everything well, it was very humbling for me. Um, I learned a lot. Um, I learned what to do, learned what not to do. And um, it just exposed things to uh, for me for patience and things like that. So, yes, um, excited for today. We had quite a bit of rain for the first time in a while. Um, some places were estimated to get about half an inch to an inch of rain. I don't think we got that much to where I'm going today, but nevertheless, I'm excited. We have silvers that are running for a little bit longer, and I'm just going to go out there and see what it looks like out there and see if we can't maybe get into some silvers maybe. That's what I'm targeting, tied up a fly. So yeah, let's go check things out. I'll see you guys when we get there all right so i just talked to a guy up there and he said um up river there were tons of pinks there which is good um you know but again that's not what i'm targeting so you know pinks right now are really gonna be really soft um in my opinion and from what other people have told me they're not really something you're gonna want to eat if you put them on a smoker i have buddies that smoke them and uh they're great so this is uh, my first look at the water. We've had quite a bit of rain, um, you know, so I'm just gonna hike up river here as, uh, as much as the water will allow me to and uh, see if we can't go from there. So uh, let's take a peek. Hmm. Maybe the guys went up one more to get there. I don't know, I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit. Kind of a cool vantage point. You know, when I'm looking at this water here, I see this ripple here. So whatever's coming up, based on what I've learned, <clears throat> they're gonna come up through this and they're gonna sit in this calmer water right here. So we could hit this on the way back. But then again, you got to cast through one, two, three different flows. So when you get big rivers like this, you got to break this down as a bunch of small rivers, like I heard. So like I said, you have one section here, and you have another section here, and you have that section there where you see the white, little white caps there. And then you have this calmer section up here, which some fish could be up there. But my plan is to go up and then work down. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time camping on one, um, one section. I'm just gonna treat this like a run, which it is. And I'm gonna cast, take my couple steps down, let the fly swing, have a floating line with a non-floated, I'm sorry, with a non-weighted fly. This is the, the guy I have tied up last night, which I'm kind of glad I don't have weight on it. Um, you know, I was kind of anticipating that that was gonna be a bad decision. But again, I didn't have the lead to wrap around, excuse me, the shank of the hook to uh, get that weight on there. So, oh, what was that? Is that an animal? Oh, it's a dog. <laughs> That was a coyote or something. So yeah, let's walk up here, see if anybody's up here, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, looks like we're walking some more through a trail. Let's, I'm just being lazy, not pulling the map out. Um, let's see, this opens up here. It is warm out today, more than I thought. But then again, I am. Kind of wiking, wiking, wiking. <laughs> trying to say walking and hiking at the same time. I am hiking through some stuff here, so let's just keep 
going where the trail is leading us. Another trail down there. Let's see what this leads to. Nope, this is gonna lead us right to the water of this spot. Which obviously is a good, give me my broad. Which is a good spot, cause there's a trail there, plus there's somebody there. But let's walk down this way. This is why I break my rod down into two. So I don't have to sit there and navigate through all those trees. Let's see what we got here. All right, well, it looks like we can move further upstream, so let's do that. All right, so I've walked up here pretty much as far as I can. There's a park right up there that I could have gone through. But again, I didn't know. Oh. Just how far this trail would take us. I'm trying to be somewhat discreet along here in case there are fish in here. But, uh, This is where I was talking to people that are catching fish, so let's suit up. Spay rod in big water. Here's the water, there's my bank. You can see I don't have much room to cast at all. Let's see what this fly looks like in the water, huh? Obviously not the most ideal situation with a 13 foot, six inch spay rod, but I'm literally treating this as if it's a single hand rod. Uh, I'm just throwing it upriver, getting a nice D loop, and casting it up 45, letting it get in front of me, throwing it upstream in, and just letting it drift from there because I got that tree there. So we've gone through that a couple times. I'm going to move down since I obviously can't cast and move down. All right, so here we are just on the other side of that tree. Let's get my rod tip out of there. And again, not the best casting, but from what I've learned about coho, coho like to be in all this kind of stick stuff here. They're kind of like the bass of, of uh, salmon. So if that's where they want to be, I'm going to try everything I can to set their plea. I don't know, I was trying to rhyme something there. Cast it and I'm letting this just drift down. Not gonna get through that bush though. So I'm just gonna strip it up. Shoot that up. There we go. Good thing about a floating line. Let me get that going up there. There we go. Just kind of creep it up there. There we go. Get that out in the water. I'm gonna have to reel up to get through this stuff, that's all right. Kind of be mindful of where your rod tip is too. You know, make sure you're not throwing it in the bushes behind you with the tip of it. All right, let's move on. All right, let's get out of this, get back up on the trail here. Grab something to hold on to, give it a nice tug, make sure it's secured. Pull myself up, lean forward with my head, because where the head goes, the body follows. Just remember that if you're going up some steep, steep embankment. All right, let's go find the next trail point that goes down to the water, and we'll check that out. The water that I'm fishing right now is not necessarily what I call the sweet spot of the water. Um, it's areas where I'm just curious about, so again, that's why I'm starting at the top of the run and working my way down. Again, making a safe 
evaluation that I cannot safely wade through that water there um, or comfortably. Even if it looks safe to you guys, if you're not comfortable with it, don't do it. Look at this, it's kind of cool, right? Looks like a beaver or something. Where the consistency and the persistence comes in. This, woo, <laughs> we're okay. Apparently a theme seems to be me falling. But, um, again, we're walking down. We can work this whole stretch here. Then we gotta come back and go back up, but let's get after it. That's good, and I'm letting this just drift down. Not gonna get through that bush though. So I'm just gonna strip it up. Shoot that up, there we go. Good thing about a floating line. Let me get that going up there. There we go, just kind of creep it up there. There we go, get that out in the water. You're gonna have to reel up to get through this stuff, that's all right. Kind of be mindful of where your rod tip is too. You know, make sure you're not throwing it in the bushes behind you with the tip of it. All right, let's move on. All right, let's get out of this, get back up on the trail here. Grab something to hold on to, give it a nice tug, make sure it's secure. Pull myself up, lean forward with my head. This is where the head goes, the body follows. Just remember that if you're going up some steep, steep embankment. All right, let's go find the next trail point that goes down to the water, and we'll check that out. The way that I'm fishing right now is not necessarily what I call the sweet spot of the water. Um, it's areas where I'm just curious about. So again, that's why I'm starting at the top of the run and working my way down. Again, making a safe evaluation that I cannot safely wade through that water there um, or comfortably. Even if it looks safe to you guys, if you're not comfortable with it, don't do it. Look at this, it's kind of cool, right? Looks like a beaver or something. Where the consistency and the persistence in this comes in. This, woo, <laughs> we're okay. Apparently a theme seems to be me falling. But, um, again, we're walking down. We can work this whole stretch here. Then we gotta come back and go back up, but let's get after it. This location here, we have this log here, I'm working this section. I'm just looking at structure that's gonna get in the way. I have all this room back here, which is way more room that uh, somebody needs for um, um, spay casting. So again, this water here is not the most ideal because this is turbulent. So what they would do is they would come up through this and then they're gonna come up and hang out in that commerce stuff. But nevertheless, any place I can fish, I'm going to fish it. I'm gonna stand out here a little bit, just saw my swing down. I don't swing right into that log because I've already worked this section a little bit there. I don't wanna get my hook in there. Ideally, what I'd want to do is cast the opposite direction at this 45. Water's moving pretty quick. This is probably where you'd want to use a sink tip in this section here. Let me cast off the left shoulder, downstream, throw my upstream mend in, and now we're going to swing it. And this is too fast for the setup I have. Now this is where I have to make the decision. Do I want to be proficient and work this the right way? Or do I just want to 
work with what I have and hope it does the trick. Because I can tell by the flow of this, this is, this is uh, too fast for the setup I have. But again, I'm not gonna be fishing this section long. And I don't wanna take, basically the time it's gonna take me to switch over to a sink tip, I would be done with this run here. So what I can do is I can throw this up river, let it sink, strip my line in, and now it's actually getting deeper there. So now we're just gonna keep working this section here. Some slippery rocks here, Paul. Trying to, to walk, huh? All right, so we're just gonna walk this down. We're gonna walk the dog, as I say, around this log. So now we're free of any structure. But see, now we get into some shallower water here. And this is where fish would probably be moving up. But again, with that rainfall we had, I want to explore every piece of water I possibly can explore. And there could be some fish over there, so let me see if I can lengthen up. Let me see if I can get a decent cast out there. Not bad, but again, see now I gotta fight this faster water. That other side of the water is slow, so the fly's doing this and the belly's doing this, so that's why I have to keep mending to get that belly above the water there. So again, we'll do that again. Let's set up our cast. Upstream mend, get it out of that faster water. And now we're just gonna let it swing down. We're fighting the wind. I'm casting up here. I got the wind coming down to me. This is where tight loops come in very handy. And this is where I'm trying to get with the casting because if you have these big open loops, that means the wind can take that and do what it wants with it. Those tighter loops, it's gonna cut right through there. So if you know somebody that has good casting, um, let me have that, please. Thank you. Uh, somebody who has good casting, see if they'll spend some time with you. I mean, my casting's basic. I'm learning, like I said, I have a list, a lesson that is in the works here. Uh, it was supposed to be this weekend, but I think it's gonna be uh, next week in the way things are looking. But uh, hook up with somebody that can help you out with your casting, a buddy. Just have them, hey man, can you watch and see what I'm doing? Videotape yourself from there, whatever it takes. Again, read your water. See how this is calm and dark? I knew it was deep. Then it shallows up to there. So just be mindful. Don't go walking off in this stuff without looking at it first. This guy there has got one on. Good job. If it was the, the flow right there, the two different flows, but I had something pulled. Didn't take any lines, so I didn't set. But let's go right back through that again. Basically the same spot. We're just gonna let this swing. Keep you guys along for this swing here. It's about right about here where I felt that. So let's see. That yeah, wasn't the flow, so something was there. I'll just keep going through it a couple more times and we'll move on. This guy down here was just asking me what color I had. I told him pink. And uh, he said he has orange and he's got a humpy though. Check it out, little spider. Swimming around right there. Can't see him on the camera. Using that layer of the surface water to sit there. All right, we're gonna move on. We're gonna get out of this spot. We're gonna keep moving down until we get to that point. And that'll be pretty much the day for today. That was awesome. Met a couple new people down on the river. 
Um, I was talking to the gentleman there that caught that nice pink there and uh, met another guy. So after visiting with them for a little bit, um, moved down. You can see this log out there. I'm trying to just get right on that outside of that seam there, drifting this down, swinging it down. So we'll see what happens here. We're just gonna keep moving down. Like I said, this is gonna be the end of our run there. Hopefully I can hug this all the way down. Let's move down. Let's climb up this big behemoth here. Get a rod and some grass. Oh, lean forward, success. I think we're gonna get to our last section of the water here and uh, we'll call it a day because this is, yep, this is gonna take us to the start of everything, which I feel like I could have walked down. <laughs> I guess not, but we'll be there in a minute. Well, the sun's come out and I didn't anticipate that. I actually anticipated it looking at the weather that it's supposed to rain basically all day today. So again, this is the time of the year where you need to bring basically everything with you. I know it's inconvenient sometimes, but um, yeah, that's because I don't have my glasses with me and the sun is right at the southeast area right on the water there so it's a little a little challenging there keep walking this down I've caught in a couple fish last year in October right through all this I was down below here though Well, gang, that concludes another adventure today. Uh, no luck today, but again, anytime I get to get out, I really enjoy being out. You can see how muddy this water is right here from just a little bit of rain we've had. But that's it, we may be back out tomorrow. Um, again, thank you for all the support. If you've subscribed for the first time, Thank you. Leave a comment down in the section below. That's really how we're gonna build this community and you know, learn from each other because I'm learning also at the same time. By no shape or form do I have this all figured out. And if I ever get to that place where I have it figured out, trust me, I'm gonna be a river and share that with everybody also. So signing off, see you guys next time.